From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. America first. It's a phrase now President Donald Trump used as a slogan on the campaign trail, on Twitter, and now on the White House website. He's used it to describe how he'll approach trade, foreign affairs, and immigration. But it's a phrase that concerns some Americans. In April, the Anti-Defamation League publicly asked Trump to stop using the slogan. That's because of the history of the America First Committee, which was formed in 1940 to keep the United States from supporting Britain and the Allies in World War II. Some of its most well-known members and leaders were flat-out anti-Semitic. While some of them were booted from the group for that reason, another leader, Charles Lindbergh, remained. He and other group members said Jewish and British people were moving the U.S. in the direction of war. In a 1941 speech, Lindbergh characterized Jews as other people and said their greatest danger to this country was their large ownership and influence in the media and government. Trump told the New York Times in July, America first is a brand new modern term. I never related it to the past. America first became a worldwide trending phrase on Twitter after the inauguration. Many used it as a hashtag applauding the new president, but his use of the phrase didn't sit well with others on the social platform.